This is the new Canon R50, a camera specifically designed by Canon for content creators like you and I, and here's everything you need to know about it. The R50 is sleek and easy to use with a 375 gram lightweight body making it easy to store and carry around. It has 4K 30p with 6K over sampling and full HD 120p for slow motion videos. The R50 is also equipped with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor and automatic shooting mode such as Creative Assist, Creative Bracket and Advanced A for high quality images. It's also compatible with a wide range of RFS and RF lenses. It has advanced tracking for humans, animals and vehicles and it also shoots up to 13 shots per second. And thanks to the team at Camera Electronics, I'm taking out the Canon R50 into the very fast paced, intriguing and provocative concrete jungle of Perth City to see if it can keep up with some street photography. So, I made it to the city where we're gonna test out the R50 with some street photography. I'm gonna try it with the 55 to 210, even though I've got the 18 to 45. But with my style of street photography, I generally use a 70 to 200 or an 85 mil. So this lens is perfect for compensating for what I would normally use with my R5. So we'll get that together. It's so light and small compared to like this monster that I thought was light and small. This is light and small. Pretty much the controls and the settings are exactly the same as the R5. So it makes transitioning from an R5 to this very, very simple. I've dialed in the settings on this to how I would shoot on my R5. So I guess we'll go shoot. So in this location, I like getting shots of people leaving the office building across the road and walking through the stairs, down the stairs and just through this industrial work area. And I want to test out, I guess, the quality and the focal range of the 55 to 210 and see how sharp the images are from all the way back here. So I guess we're just going to wait for some people and see what this thing can do. So I'm shooting at 55 mil. and slowly zooming in and the quality still at 210 is absolutely amazing and the tracking on him is spot on does not miss a beat just stays locked onto his face the entire time because i'm catching the motion of him standing looking around drawing from his cigarette and it's just not missing a beat. Yeah, those came out really good. I'm, pr I'm pretty much finished at this spot, got some really good photos with the R50. So now we're gonna go to another location that I like shooting in in Perth and just testing it out there and see how nimble and mobile that it can be with traffic and people moving in multiple directions. Let's go. So far I've gone to two different locations to test out the R50. One of those locations was shooting from a distance to check out the focal range of the 55 to 210 just to see the quality and to also the tracking capabilities of the R50. And then the other locations I've used were just amongst more people, just to see the type of confidence it would give me shooting people in the streets. Because obviously when it comes to street photography, you kind of don't, well for me anyway, I don't want to be sticking out so much. I don't want to be seen with a big bulky camera, with a big bulky lens, even though I do do that. And because I do do that, I hide out of the way. Using this camera gives me actually more confidence to step away from where I normally hide and get more in the faces of people to get better photos, more thought-provoking photos, and photos that can tell a bit more of an emotive story. And I have to say that it's performing really, really well. I'm really happy with what it's doing and the image quality that it's producing. Pretty much all the images are just tack sharp. 
The only downside I can say at the moment that I can foresee is I normally shoot a lot later in the afternoons and in the evening. And these lenses apertures started about f4.5, f5. So in low light, it's not really gonna perform as well as the higher quality glass. But for general street photography during the day, perfect. One of the only negatives I can say so far about testing this is that normally on my R5, I set one of the, bu I set one of the buttons to be my face tracking. You can't actually do that on the R50. It doesn't give you an option to set it to a, a button function. But it's a preference that I really, really like. So in this intersection, I really want to test the auto track on people's faces as they're rushing home from work and just seeing how responsive it is compared to say the R5. So I'm gonna try and get that lady across the road. Loving how that sun is just providing a backlight onto her. See, oh, oh, even as the cars go by. Let's it down in situations like this where you're wanting to track a subject and get multiple frames of them is that it only has a 10 shot count before the shutter runs out and you can't take any more and you've got to let it recycle. I don't know if that's just me not unlocking a specific uh, feature on the camera that allows for more shots, but so far I can only do 10. So really it's a good and a bad thing. Good thing because it tests you and makes you more selective with your shots. Bad thing is that if you really want a lot of frames, you just can't get it. So my final thoughts on Canon's R50. I absolutely love it. As a content creator that primarily shoots a lot of street photography content, the R50 is the perfect camera to swap out or replace my R5 if I wanted something a bit smaller, more compact and versatile to use for street photography. The image quality is absolutely amazing and the auto tracking focus for vehicles and people is also very fast and very responsive and I rarely, rarely miss a shot with the R50. Now, if I wanted to use my R5 with an RF 85 1.2 or a 70 to 200 for my street photography, and I wanted a camera that could capture all the behind the scenes content that wasn't my phone and could produce a very high level of image quality, I'll definitely use the R50. Besides the image quality, which is very, very important, the fact that it's so lightweight and compact makes it very easy to set up on a tripod. The fold out screen makes it very easy to see where I am in frame to be able to create very engaging content for IG Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Even if I wasn't out shooting street photography and I was in my home studio shooting portrait or even product photography, the R50 is the perfect companion that I would use to create engaging content for my social platforms. Overall, Canon's new R50 is the perfect camera for all content creators who are looking for a very versatile, compact and affordable camera that can produce high quality photos and video content. Thanks again to the team at Camera Electronics for letting me take out the new R50 for some street photography and putting it through its paces. If you'd like to know more about the R50 and even try it for yourself, go speak to the team at Camera Electronics. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this review of Canon's R50. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.